Hey, common folk, welcome back to Struck Accord Firewood. Uh, as promised, I got some more Can Am accessories that were in the back of the truck that day. Uh, a couple more to go. Um, this one here is uh, we started to film outside, it started raining, so I brought it in the garage. So, sorry for the, uh, the clutter and the tight quarters. Um, what I got here is the Can Am Deluxe Headache Rack. Uh, I think this one here is 300 and some dollars, 350, something like that. Um, <clears throat> what this is going to be for is when we make the ultimate uh, wood cutting vehicle uh, as far as hauling logs and stuff. Uh, if you stop real quick on the, on, on the fly, I don't need logs hitting me in the back of the head. Um, Can-Am's website um, is a little bit hokey on the instructions because they have you print out a template. Well, if you're like me and you have children, they use all the printer paper. So I have no printer paper, no ink, so I basically had to lay out with a tape measure the holes to drill in the back of the, uh, the box to mount this thing. Uh, so I did that already. I spared you guys that uh, on, the, um, on the film. So these are already in. But what I'll do is I'll show you real quick what they are. I'll pop this thing up. So basically, you're laying out these, these back brackets here. Uh, two bolts and a nut. And that's it. And you're allowed to tighten these all the way down. Basically, this is like real hard. It kind of reminds you, uh, I have a rubber um, wheelbarrow. It kind of reminds you of the material that that's made out of. So, let me get my bolts back in order since I dropped all that. Okay. So, without further ado... This is the can can amp headache rack. Now, when you're installing these, just so you guys know, you're putting these in right before you hit them with the dead blow uh, after you drill your holes already. What you want to do is you want to make sure that this uh, written on inside here, it says outside of box. Make sure they're facing forward, which is the outside of the box. I don't know if that makes a big deal, but they're pretty, pretty specific about that in the instructions. Um, once these are in, you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up here. I'm going to jump up. I'm going to get this down. Now, on the instructions, they do have a thing about the headache rack um, to put these on and rivet these on. These are like almost like a bumper stop. Uh, mine already came with it on, so I don't know why I would put them on again. So let me get up here. Not hit my head and look like a fool, but whatever. All right. Basically, you're going to take this, you're going over that plastic pieces, right on down. I thought I was going to have to hit it with the furniture hammer, but apparently not. All right. And what you're going to do is, it looks to me, I think you're going to line line these holes up it looks like bolt goes through nut goes on the other side same thing here bolt goes through nut goes on the other side so it's going to be a little bit of a bitch to get that nut on but i will do it and one thing i'm going to get in the future not the near future is a back window after I get the front window as it gets colder up here in the northeast. And I don't know how that's going to affect if, if I got to take this off or whatever to get the window in. But if I do, you guys will be the first to know. Same thing on this side. Line it up. Line it up, bolt, bolt. And again, it says to keep everything loose, so that's exactly what I'm doing. But you can already see the amount of protection that it's going to provide. I'm getting hit with a log or something like that in the head. I mean, that'll happen once or twice, and you won't have a good day after that.
already. I guess half the installation is done. Of course, we got to tighten everything. We have these side brackets, okay? It looks like they mount here, and it's obviously to stabilize this and to give it a little bit of bracing support. Uh, what we're going to do with that, you have these these guys here, and I'm trying to think if I want to mount. Yeah, I guess I will. Here's your little bracket. It goes underneath, so it's a little bit of a balancing act. you got to slide it in. Now, the, the bolts are easy because they're the ones with the Loctite on them, the blue. And if you guys look down here, you'll see two holes through this. And when you go to tighten this down and crank this, they say stick a screwdriver. I got an awl here. Just stick that awl in there and that'll keep that bottom plate from spinning around. I think once it gets up so high, it won't be able to uh, swing around anyway. Next, we have two bolts. These are going to go in the sides. And... Nuts on the inside. I tried to find videos on the headache rack, uh, deluxe headache rack on YouTube. I didn't make out so well. I mean, some people put them in, but it was almost like fast forwarding all the steps. And to be honest with you, you know, I'd rather see a video on how to do it than to read Can Am's lovely instructions. So, there's the second one. And that goes in there. Sounds as I got fat fingers. I guess I do. All right. Next, we come to the other side. Same process. You can see your bracket. You want this little uh, nipple down, out. At least that's how it looks in the in the pictures. All right, we got this here. Same deal. I'm taking this off. Because they're actually going to go on something else shortly. So again, look for the one with the Loctite. That's the blue. All right, that's in. Same thing here. We go in, go through. And repeat. Everything is 10 millimeter, just so everybody knows. Okay. Now what we're going to do, everything seems to be on. And what we're going to do is we're going to start tightening thing, tighten this thing down. So first I think what I'd like to do... Is tighten these down. Oh, that sucked up pretty good. Loosen it. I want to straighten that bracket out. I didn't think it was going to suck up like that. That's strong. It's pretty nice. Alright, now next I'm going to hit this other one. And I'm using my awl to hold the bracket kind of straight. They got torque settings too. I'll retorque it afterwards. The torque settings are on the instructions. I think it's 18 foot pounds or something. But I'll retorque it. Okay. Next thing I know. Let's get these first.
Turn it around here. Same on the other side. Again, I'm using an impact gun. Show with the torque settings, you probably don't want to crank it. I mean, this is still thin metal. Okay, that's good there. Now see how it's able to move? Because I didn't crank the sides down yet. So I do like that. I think the way that you do it, it looks like it's got some play this way or this way, depending on how you want to have your, your headache rack. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to eyeball it straight before I crank these tight. Actually, that doesn't look so bad. Same reveal. And that looks that looks pretty strong there. I'm gonna go to the other side, eyeball it the same way. Again, it doesn't have to be phenomenal. There might be something coming up that's gonna attach to it. Who knows? Again, it's just thin tube steel, so I'll go nuts. And that is, that is it. The only play that you're seeing it bounce is from the actual cargo bed. The actual thing's pretty strong. Other than that, that's it. Uh, if there's anything you guys like me to, to, to talk about in the videos or any, any kind of tool reviews you guys want me to do, you just let me know any kind of accessories that you guys are planning on getting that maybe I would think would be a good addition to this thing. I'll buy them and I'll put them on. So um, that's it. Other than that, uh, like, subscribe, and give me that big thumbs up. Thanks a lot.